G'day guys, I thought I'd do a quick video about FM transmitters now. The background was I was looking for an FM transmitter uh, to use for our Christmas lights display this year, or obviously to transmit the music, which will be sequenced to our lights. Um, and I happened to end up with three different types of the common FM transmitters, which are discussed on a lot of the internet forums, etc. Now, just from the get-go, guys, I'm not a radio expert, I'm not an electronics expert. Um, but I'll sort of hopefully give you some thoughts, my thoughts on some of these FM transmitters which you might find useful. So I'm going to try and break this down into a couple of different parts of this video. First I'm just going to give a quick overview, um, then I might just do a little separate video on each type. So we've got the three types. Uh, we have the little generic uh, ones which you've probably seen advertised on um, AliExpress and, and eBay. Um, these are uh, sold as a a little 100 milliwatt FM transmitter. Uh, when you receive the packaging, obviously you don't get any instructions with these, but there is a little bit of information on them from where you purchase them from. Uh, it mentions that they need a DC 3 volt to 5 volt um, input. Uh, there's, there's some little sections there you can solder into. Uh, one of the big things that doesn't come with an antenna or anything like that and I think it lists a 75 centimeter antenna um, there's a little section just there just after you see that uh, to solder your antenna into um, we'll go into a bit more details when I do the review of that one the next one is the ZERF CZERF uh, transmitter again these are advertised on quite a few sites like eBay etc these come well packaged up when you receive them um, some basic specs of these ones I believe these are sold as a, a what are they they're a, they're a dual range so they're either possibly 1.5 watt or a 7 watt FM transmitter um, that seems like it's really powerful um, so what you receive in the package is quite good with these uh, obviously you get the encased FM transmitter uh, you get a power supply uh, I'm from Australia so you actually get an Australian plug power supply which is quite handy um, you receive also the antenna to go into the back of him screws into the back as such, um, and this is a nice extend, extendable antenna. You can adjust it, obviously, to suit where you're going to mount it. And it comes with an audio lead to connect from your audio source, either your Raspberry Pi or your, your computer, uh, just to the audio input. Um, the case seems nice and strong. Overall, it looks pretty good. It's a funny thing, side note. I know that this listed as 12 volt, 2 amps power supply that's supplied with it is output 12 volt 1.67 amps so I'll do a review on that one and see how it comes out and last but not least we have the which one everyone sort of talks about is the holy grail of FM transmitters uh, for people you see talking a lot about them uh, this is one of the EDM type ones I believe it is the EDM LCD CS EP. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. Now this one here comes with, um, as when you're ordering it, it lets you know it doesn't come fully assembled, but it does come in a super strong looking, nice uh, metal case. Um, they do so when you purchase it, you are required to, uh, to remove the four screws, etc., and solder in the little power uh, adapter, etc. Um, it came originally just with a generic um, antenna, but when I ordered mine, I ordered the optional, uh, I refer to it as like a rubber ducky type flexible antenna. And just to be a note for anyone from, say, Australia, uh, the power supply they is, I believe that's a US type output. Um, it's a 12 volt, 1.5 amps, so it shouldn't be too much hassle finding uh, something to use for that. Nice long lead on it. 
Uh, this EDM type ones, I believe, uh, dual range, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 10 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts, I believe. So, I'll do some other videos on each one and hopefully help you guys out. Um, I suppose for, for legal reasons. Um, everyone hopefully is aware of their legal requirements about re uh, transmitting FM signals, etc. I said I'm not a guru at all regarding anything like that. This is just my thoughts on it. Okay.